This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. Nowadays, I have started a complete series on the R557 biometric or fingerprint sensor module. And in this series, I have already covered Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. In the first video, I used the R557 fingerprint module with Arduino to control an electronic door lock. This was a getting started video. So I explained all the technical specifications, how to install the Arduino library, how to enroll fingers and how to control an electronic door lock using a registered finger ID. In the second video, I used the R557 fingerprint module with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and Google Sheet. This was an intermediate level IoT based project in which I practically demonstrated how to send the students or employees attendance information to the Google Sheet. Now, the third video in this series is based on the Raspberry Pi Pico R557 biometric fingerprint module and an electronic door lock. As you know, there are two variants of the Raspberry Pi Pico, the normal one and the one that comes with the Wi-Fi. So it doesn't matter if you want to use Raspberry Pi Pico or the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The red and yellow wires of the R557 fingerprint module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico W3.3 volt pin. Red wire is the VT and yellow wire is the VCC. This black wire is the IRQ wire and as you can see, it's left unconnected. But if you want, you can use this wire. Anyway, for now, I don't need this. The green and blue wires are the TXT and RXT wires and these are connected with the GP1 and GP0. GP1 is the RX and GP0 is the TX. The white wire is the ground wire and it's connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico ground pin. This is a 12 volt SPDT type relay module. Its input wire is connected with a Raspberry Pi Pico GP26 pin and its ground is connected with a Raspberry Pi Pico ground. As you know, this is a 12 volt electronic door lock. Its ground wire is directly connected with the ground wire of the 12 volt power supply. Whereas the 12 volt wire of the electronic door lock is connected with the 12 volt power supply through this relay. As you can clearly see, the red wire is connected with the common contact of the relay and the 12 volt wire from the power supply is connected with the normally open contact of the relay. So by turning on and turning off this relay, we can open and close this electronic door lock. So that's all about the connections. And still, if you feel like you have missed anything, then you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and install the fingerprint library. For this, open the Arduino IDE. Click on the sketch menu. Go to include library and then click on manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit fingerprint. Click on the install button. You can see my Adafruit fingerprint sensor library is now installed. Next, for the fingerprint enrollment, connect your Raspberry Pi Pico with a laptop or PC and upload this sketch. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. You can see the code has been uploaded. If you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365, then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop-down button and click on the Sign In. Click on the Register an Account. 
it's just a two steps process into your email id or you can also register with gmail and facebook once you complete the registration then come back to ultimate designer enter your email id and password check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button and your ultimate 365 workspace will activate Click on manage if you want to change your password, your information and you can also write about your experience and projects. And finally, you can click on the save button. I will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Next, open the serial monitor and follow the instructions. Right now it's saying please type in the ID number from 1 to 127 you want to save this finger is. So I'm going to type 3. Now I can place my finger. I'm going to place the same finger again. Now my finger is enrolled and its ID is 3. You can see I have successfully enrolled my four finger. So I'm going to use this finger to open and close the electronic door lock. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the final code. This is the final code that I used to lock and unlock the electronic door lock. If this is your first time using the Raspberry Pi Pico, then you will also need to install the Raspberry Pi Pico board in the Arduino IDE. And for this, you can watch my video on Raspberry Pi Pico and Adafruit IO. Anyway, let me show you how I use the ID. A finger.finger .finger ID equals equals three then open or close the electronic door lock. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will add a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this capacitor, fingerprint sensor and Raspberry Pi Pico based electronic door lock in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.